Thank you. My name is Chaplain Hi McEnery, and I'm the founding director and president of an inner city ministry here, working with inner city folks, kids, and, and the parents and adults, teenagers, and little kids. Well, I stayed in the during the hurricane. I knew it was going to be bad. I had no idea it would be as bad as it ended up being. But I stayed to protect the home from the elements and from even the human side, knowing that if things got out of control, we have a large criminal element, and so I was going to even protect the home from looting, vandalism, all that. On the first day out, as I began to re realize the magnitude of this thing, and then when I discovered that the Louisiana National Guard was not here, that we were on our own. Yeah, there were many challenges. Food, water, especially water. Water was a big challenge. There was water, water everywhere, but never dropped a drink. And the, the waters that had flooded this city were very polluted. And in fact, they, the reports I've heard of that the pollution was off the charts, biological and chemical. The city was floating with dead bodies, human and animal. Uh, the, the, the chemical factories had been uh, overflowed, and, and all of that was going into the city. There's this giant toxic soup in New Orleans. New Orleans had become a combat zone. They were shooting all over the city. They would loot it. There was mass destruction of property. The damage done by you know, humans were, was certainly challenged the, the level of damage done by the hurricane. I don't know the comparison. I understand the criminal element, and I understand the nature of our society here in New Orleans. I knew that could happen, I just didn't think I'd ever see it, because I didn't know that we would be just abandoned and have nobody here to help us. Like I said, the, the National Guard didn't show up, uh, the police were overwhelmed. For every 50 crimes, for every 50 fires, there was one cop or one fireman. It, what it proved to me, there's a thin veneer of morality that surrounds society, and if that, if an occasion, something occasions the opportunity for the removal of that thin veneer, it is removed quickly, and the darker side of humankind comes out exponentially. So I, I, w I would wish that every American and every American family would be prepared like this, because if we do get an EMP, forget the government, forget the police, forget we're on our own, and it's, it's going to be rough. When, when, when these, when the, the, the element, the criminal element of society finds out they can't get their drugs, and also there are no cops to defend the innocent. It's going to be Hurricane Katrina all over America.